Hey everybody, Mark here. Happy Sunday to you. This is a two minute tutorial about time lapse using Adobe Lightroom and Adobe Premiere. All right, so I'm gonna show you one of the easiest ways that you can actually create a time lapse from your footage if you have some sequential images that are uh, off your camera, i.e. time lapses that you're creating, uh, with about five different steps here. So the first thing we're gonna do is you wanna make sure you edit all of your photos, get your horizons level, whatever you're gonna be doing to them to post-process them. And then from there, we're going to export them as JPEGs. So I've already done that step so I could save some time to get this tutorial to you faster. So let's jump into Adobe Premiere and bring this in. So first thing you wanna do is start a new project. Go to File, New, and then Project. You can set up the settings here to your liking, whatever you're going to be doing for your editing. Uh, however, just keep the same frame rate that you would for your video that you're editing and as well uh, your existing project settings. So we're gonna title this one as Time Lapse. Once you get your project open, the first thing you need to do is import your media. So importing your media is pretty easy. You can press Control I or Command I if you're on a Mac. And the other way you can do it is go to File and then about three quarters of the way down is Import. You wanna to navigate to the folder that you're in and the biggest and most important step is you do not wanna select all your files. You wanna just select the very first one in that sequence and that's going to allow you to create this image sequence down here. As you can see, there's a tick box down here that says image sequence. You wanna make sure that is selected. If you select more than one file, it will be grayed out. You won't be able to do anything to it. So make sure the first one's selected. You're gonna click open and it's gonna bring that project into uh, Premiere for you, into your media bin, which mine is over here. Uh, you can see this one is about a five second shot it looks like we're going to bring it in and drag it to our timeline and go from there and edit it so let's play it and see what it looks like there it goes and you can see it's bouncing around a little bit so the great thing about using premiere to create your time lapses is you can actually apply a warp stabilizer on there and that's it everybody all you have to do now is just export it like you normally would with uh, any type of video there you'll go to file export media and then a couple of boxes are going to pop up if you want to bring it to youtube or if you want to just export it right to your desktop uh, you can do the uh, do that by clicking the output name and then changing this to desktop. That is all you have to do to get your time lapse edited and exported out to your desktop, just like that. So I'll stick it in the back of the video here so you guys can see what that time lapse looked like. So guys, thanks for watching the video. Thanks for liking, subscribing, and commenting. Leave me a note below if you'd like to see some more tutorials. And as well, uh, I will be back next Sunday with another two-minute tutorial. And if you stick around for just a moment, we're going to do some bonus content on stabilizing this time lapse so type warp up in your effects bin so that you can find out where that is and you're going to grab the one that says warp stabilizer vfx you're going to drag that down to your uh, video of images and then click on effect control up here what's going to happen here is going to go frame by frame for 130 frames and analyze this and what we're going to do is stabilize it based off of no motion since we're hovering with the drone and then from there, uh, stabilize, crop, and auto scale. So let's let this run, and then we'll be back in just a minute. So let, so let's let this run, and we'll be back in just a minute. All right. So we are all finished with the analyzation of those frames. We're going to go back and take a look at it and see if we need to do anything else. So that warp stabilizer is actually going to um, stabilize this image based off of some points that it picks out in there. Uh, you can do it with like a two-point stabilization, but this usually works best with doing time lapses. So let's give it a play and see what it looks like. Oh yeah, much better. Look at that. Now that is running good. I have, do have my quality set down, so when you see it kind of losing quality there, we'll put it on full so you can see that in full res. Perfect. Not much movement at all. So you can do some settings and adjust over here, uh, like smooth motion if you're moving in the camera, doing... Uh, a time lapse or if you're going to um, change this here you can position scale and rotate if it is moving or perspective and subspace warp I usually leave it on those settings right there that's as easy as it is right there to stabilize that image so let's play it one more time see how that looks so guys thanks for watching the video thanks for liking subscribing and commenting leave me a note below if you'd like to see some more tutorials and as well uh, I will be back next Sunday with another two-minute tutorial and I'll see you guys next time